Hi, I'm Tony Footy, the Minister for Citizenship and Multicultural Interests in Western Australia. We've got another part of our great uh, multicultural cooking series and today we've got a special it's about Indian food. We're at the Ishwa headquarters, the Indian Society of Western Australia in Williton, and I have with me my good friends and parliamentary colleagues. Uh, to my left I have Yaz Mubarakai, the member for Jandicott, and also my parliamentary secretary. And also to, to my right I have Dr Jayas Krishna, the member for Riverton. And I have further here, we have uh, Sadish Naeem, and Sadish is the president of Ishwas. All right, let's get moving, let's get cooking. So what are we cooking and where is it from in India? So now we are moving to the southernmost part of India. Uh, we are, uh, the south of India has given a lot of delicacies uh, in terms of a um, lot of culinary experiences and stuff like that. So chicken chetinan is what we are going to cook today and that comes mainly from the state of Tamil Nadu, the so southernmost state of India. Uh, so there are a few components to the cooking. Uh, which are very very important. Uh, first of all is the dry mix. So the dry mix becomes the paste which is the most important part of... Uh, That's all uh, this stuff here. Yes, so we've got some aniseed, yeah. some garlic cloves, uh, we've got uh, uh, cumin, cumin seeds, we've got some turmeric, uh, some clove, salt of course, dry chilli, uh, coriander seeds, peppercorn seeds, and some red uh, paprika as well okay. and of course the lemon and uh, the, the curry leaves are used in part of marination. And so this is used to do the marination? To, to marinate, yes. yes. So uh, first the step is to basically marinate the chicken. So at least the more the marination the better it gets. Yes. So usually we like to, uh, any Indian cooking when we are cooking meat, we like to put the marination for at least 24 hours. Okay. And if we are but obvious expecting anybody really close, then at least uh, takes about 30 odd minutes to really do a good marination. And is this dish uh, synonymous with any particular uh, festival or is it, uh, is it a stable? Is this a common dish? Uh, it's one of the common dishes in, uh, in the southernmost part of, the, of India. And uh, of course there are a lot of restaurants around uh, in Perth as well that uh, do serve really okay. good uh, good chicken chetinat. So first we'll, um, what we do is just we're gonna, uh, usually chetinat also uses some uh, bone, yeah. uh, bone chicken. We can always use a bit of, a uh, bit of both. Yeah. So we're just gonna um, dice some chicken up, put it into a bag, um, bit, put it into a bowl, yeah. do some bit of, uh, bit of marination here with the, with the lemon. lemon. Yeah. Yes, lemon is the best marination ingredient I would say and uh, so is yogurt um, and uh, while we keep that for marination and we can let let it uh, be there for a while I could just stir it up a bit and you know keep that for yeah. for a while to be there and then we usually we put that all and we start stir fry them basically uh, and put it into a mixer grinder to have the final product as what we have over here. This is something like Yeah, I, I've noticed in Indian food there's a lot of ingredients, different uh, spices and herbs and so forth. What's the history behind that? Why is there so many herbs and spices and a lot of different ingredients? So that would, that's an interesting question, I would say, if people would like yeah, to... I mean, a lot of different ingredients which uh, align with the different seasons. Ah. So like if you're having a winter season, you need a little bit of spice. So these are the ingredients which give you a little bit of warmness in the food and a bit of in enhanced taste as well. If it's just like a colder season, you don't need too much spice, it's just mild spice. Right. So that's how we can shift and change the taste according to the season, which season you want. Yeah. And and obviously which region you belong to. Like Southern India, they like more spices because of the weather and Tropical conditions and geographical conditions, that's what is more spicy. Right, okay. So, yeah. All right, so what are, okay, what are we doing now? So once we have the paste ready yeah. and we have the chicken marinated for for about uh, half an hour to, to an hour, then we're going to cook, uh, which is, you know, uh, start, the, uh, start the pot and uh, put some oil and mix it up and that's what we're going to do. There's one component in any southern um, South Indian dishes, which is the coconut. Okay. So coconut mm. in different forms, 
uh, whether it's uh, shredded or you know, uh, you know, uh, hazy. So any any form of coconut is definitely used in the southernmost um, part of uh, India. That's so I assume there's used. a lot of coconut trees. Lots, yeah. lots. It's a native, native, um, like, eh? yeah, native fruit. Can you could call it as a. <laughs> Okay. And while um, uh, Rohan does his uh, marination, yeah. so part we have in the Chetanad chicken is with the rice, which is main uh, diet of um, uh, South Indian people. They like their rice. And then this papadam, which is of rice flour. Okay. Um, nothing comes without this rice flour. Every house should have rice flour with it. That's what it's called, rice flour. Yeah, it's, it's made of, you know, in this restaurant you might have mm, tasted that papadam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, but yeah. that papadam is of something That's else. That's what I this thought is, it was. Yeah, it is, but yeah. it's of rice flour. Oh, okay. Not the right wheat flour or something. Okay. And uh, also those all um, ingredients or masalas as we call it, yeah. they come from the southern part of the mm, country. And Kerala, which is neighbor to Tamil Nadu, which we Chetinad is, um, has uh, elephant as its uh, uh, state animal. Okay. Uh, which yeah. is... Uh, in, in, oh, the elephant. The state uh, yeah, animal. Yeah, elephant. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a symbol on their national um, uh, flag. Okay. And also, you can see this uh, pot. This is a coconut shell, yeah. uh, which they brew uh, local um, kind of beer in there or Ooh, drink in really? there. Really? Yeah. Mm. And uh, enjoy with their meal. So you're saying this is made of a coconut, coconut shell? shell. Yeah, shell. Yeah, this is a coconut okay. shell, and it's called kodi. Okay, yeah, all right. Country made like okay, that. so we're getting back to the meal. Uh, yes. So we would off, it's marinated and then put into here to cook. Yes. Is that? So of course, uh, what we can do is if you can start if you would like to. What sort of oil? A bit of uh, usually they prefer the sesame oil. Okay, that's quite common across uh, the southern India. See, in my, my, my ancestry is olive oil. Olive oil. And the, yes, of course. So, Italians use a lot of yeah, olive oil. Yeah, do, do. So we're just going to, you know, put some chicken yeah. and then we're going to um, have, the, have the mix, right. which is the paste. Okay. So this is how we do it. And how long would you heat that up for? Uh, so it, usually, usually uh, everybody prefers to have it um, at least for half an hour half an to, hour. to a bit more um, on slow. Right. Uh, slow and would you, uh, where did, when does the coconut come So in? coconut goes uh, while cooking as oh, well. And okay. a little bit of coconut is also goes when we prepare the dry okay. mix right. as well. So, yeah. you know. And um, so you, that's good for about half an hour. Yeah. Am I looking at the final? Yes. So we have too. that ready. That's the final mm. Yeah. And there's the rice. It's, it's steamed rice. Yeah. yeah. So we can always garnish it with a bit of more co um, coriander. Uh, you you look like you're a real chef. <laughs> <laughs> you are, aren't you? You are, aren't you? A you, little bit. You might have, yeah, look at that. It's all in the wrist, wrist action. <laughs> yeah. so you can always garnish yeah. it a little yeah. bit with yeah. more yeah. of coriander. So coriander is widely used in any Indian delicacies. Well, so. I tell you one thing. We should maybe stop talking and start eating. Eh? So Let's do thank that. you ever so much. Absolutely that. brilliant. Well done. Thank Good you. On you. Thank you. The Indian community is one of the most culturally diverse communities in Western Australia. They are such a vibrant, loving, caring community who absolutely make delicious food. I'm really looking forward to sharing this with all of you. Food together is a way that we can share our stories with family and friends. Thank you very much. And can I ask people, if you want to know more about uh, this cooking series, go to the OMI website. Thank you very much.